Hi again. Today I'm showing you how to set up a webmail server on Thunderbird. If you use things like Hotmail, Yahoo, Gmail, these are usually accessed through the internet. You cannot look at them through something like Outlook. But today I'll show you how to do it with Thunderbird by using a plugin called Webmail. This basically tricks your Thunderbird in thinking that there's a POP server on your computer and basically it takes HTTP and turns it into something like a POP kind of protocol. So first download it. This is required for all the different email accounts so save link as and just save it on your desktop maybe and save what other emails you're going to use. For example Hotmail. So first we're going to install webmail. Open up Thunderbird. And we're going to go tools, add-ons, install. And um, install webmail. Restart Thunderbird. Then install your Hotmail plugin or whatever email service you're going to use. So now you have a setup and check if it's running. By going on webmail, options, check if these two are green and saying running. You don't need IMAP. If you want it, you could start it. So close this. And we're going to make a new account. We're going to make a new email account and press next. And this is going to be your name. This will be on like your, uh, the person will see this when they receive the email. You could put your real name or your alias. Oh, let's just put blah. And your email address, for example, blah at hotmail.com. The address you want people to send back to. Next. And we're going to set up a POP server. Or if you want, an IMAP if you set it up. And the incoming server will be localhost. That is equal to 127.0.0.1, which is basically saying it's on your computer. And this is a feature that you want to set or not. Look into it. it. That's your preference. Press next. And this will be the incoming username. This is actually a real email that you'll be using. For example, this would be blahhotmail.com. And then press next. And then your account name, which could be me or your name. That's, all, that's what's going to show up around here. So here you have all your configurations, and if you check this, once you press finish, it'll download all your messages. And here, if you enter your password and press OK, you would have all of your emails update normally in this box, and it would act just as if you're connecting to some POP server. And that's how to set up serv webmail on Thunderbird.